New at six, about a quarter of our neighborhoods are 60 years old and or older in Pima County. That percentage is almost sure to go up as more people retire here, Val, and more people live even longer. That's right. As Nine on Your Side's Craig Smith reports, the city of Tucson just approved an action plan to make our area a better place to live for older people and everyone. Tucson's beautiful weather and affordable living attract all sorts of people, but there's always room to improve. More services for people that are like old and stuff like that, that need, you know, help and things like that. The services are kind of weaker here than in New York. They really, it's like very age friendly in New York is compared to out here. I live in an apartment and I think it would be nice if there were uh, handicapped and it would be nice if there were more handicapped spaces and easier to little ramp things. Yeah. Items like better access for handicapped are just a small part of an age-friendly action plan just approved by the Tucson City Council. For about two and a half years, a team from the City of Tucson, Pima Council on Aging, the Elder Alliance, and AARP gathered suggestions for a five-year plan to enhance areas important to older people including outdoor space like parks, safe, convenient transportation options, affordable housing suitable for disabilities, social participation through cultural activities, respect and social inclusion, including efforts to end age discrimination, civic participation and employment through age-friendly business practices and volunteer opportunities, communication and information tailored for older adults, and community and health services. Maddie Bynes of Pima Council on Aging says the action plan's goals really benefit people of any age. If you make a city livable for someone who is eight years old and 80 years old, you're going to make it livable for people in between. So a lot of the things that we uh, look at are things that uh, people who are younger also want. And those goals will help decide where the city puts its resources in the years to come. Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.